zoom out or you can move it in. <laughs> you weird. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. <laughs> Something is wrong with you. Okay. Is it? it is. You're on my good side. You can come over here. So I can't have a good side. You know good and well that you don't know that information. What? what? You're a good side. I do. No, you don't. I do. I guarantee you that this is not it. You don't like it? No. You want to be back over here? Yeah. <laughs> I hate you so much. See? So much better. I think it's a light, actually. You know what it might be? Mm hmm. Hmm. Conundrum. You want to put the ring light on? We'll see what happens. Okay. Just twist it at the top. You don't want to turn it all the way up. Turn it back down. Other way. <laughs> okay, so just click it on, okay. and then that's it. So you don't have to turn it all the way up. Okay, that works. I still want to be on my good okay. side. You're still on my good side, but it's... Thank you. Yeah. I'm not giving it back. See, this feels weird. Does it? I think... <laughs> I think because you're always used to being on this side. Of I'm me. always on this side yeah. because you know you don't <laughs> walk straight. Shut up. So like, okay, this feels. Is this feels better to you? Wait, like scoot over maybe like a little bit. How do you feel now? <laughs> this feels weird. I think it's. Hold on. Well, you just have to stand in front of me. <laughs> no, you stand right there. And I'll stand right You have here. to give me an X. See, it works. You're going to have to give me an X. So we'll just know. zoom out a little tiny bit. Okay. Why is this so difficult? I don't know. I feel this like you look good. good. I feel like I good. need help. Do you like it? It's all right. You mm -hmm. don't like it? I mean, it's, this is what we have to do, I suppose. You don't like it? I just know that you're going to be upset because this is not your good side. Oh, I'm over it now. Oh, I'm over it now. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Oshi Reads, and I am here with one of my besties, Cassandra and Cassie for short. And we're going oh to be God. talking oh about. Oh my God, I'm out here, I'm girl. sorry. So we're going to be talking about some of our favorite books that we've read. And without further ado, let's begin. All right. So, what are some of the good books you've read this year? Um, still my top favorite is Michelle Obama's book. So good. Um, I think that is still my top favorite yeah, as well. Yeah, I don't think... Nothing has been able to top it. Yeah, I never have had a book that really made me, like, feel things the way that she made me feel things, and I very rarely feel things. But, oh, um, <laughs> like, her talking about her dad was, like, really, like, sad. I think I, I really cried. Yeah. Because, like, you could just tell, like, the way she described things and, like, how awful it was. It just just hurt and then also like the things with like um obama and things you can just tell like they love each other i know and that also made me feel emotions as well i think i really appreciated the part where she talked about juggling motherhood and her career yeah. and how she really knew she wanted to be a mother mm -hmm. and it was something she definitely wanted to make time for and then she was trying to figure out how she was going to do that and take on all these other responsibilities with her career and how she kind of had to juggle both of those and how sometimes she felt like she would be lacking in one because she's focused on this and then lacking the other because she's focused on this mm -hmm. and i thought that was very realistic i don't know how she did it i don't know, I don't know what i would have done i would have been like mm, kids are career i don't know are my kids gonna go to an orphanage don't know I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah so she i i liked that because i feel like either people lie to you and tell you that you can have it mm -hmm. all and that it's not that bad and then we have what i call like the warrior moms that are like oh i can do it all of course i can i can run to the grocery store with my twins and also my my six-year-old and stuff and then i can go right to work after that and i'm like not everybody can do that so don't make it sound like it's easy exactly so I appreciate i'm not that. a mom i'm just a dog mom but i know it's tough like I all know. of my friends are moms i have friends that are single mothers and i'm like how, how sway how Cause. yeah that's not nah but yeah so okay any other books that you've read that you really enjoyed um so the love and lies of rakshan ali i knew you that were gonna was, that was she's been trying to get me to read this book, book. it was four so months 
good. And I don't know if oh, I can put myself through the trauma. Have to, you have to do it. She yeah. listens to audiobooks mostly, guys. Yeah, because I am a student, so I am reading things and highlighting things all the time. So I like to listen to books when I'm getting dressed, when I'm in the car, things like that. It just helps me like still get my reading in because that's still my escape but I'm actually like listening to things for pleasure instead of listening to things because I need to remember it. Yeah. But so, a little bit about backstory on like what the book is about oh, and my God, some of your favorite parts and try to stay away from spoilers just in case anyone watching actually wants to read. Okay. Mm, let's see. So the Lemon Lies of Rakshana Ali is about a girl who is uh, Bengali. She is from India and her parents basically are you know Bengali parents they want you to marry somebody who's Bengali who has money things like that but like I don't know if this is a spoiler or not is it something that you did not know going into the book like you didn't get from like the back of the book or the um, dust jacket I don't know I don't ever read those because I want to be surprised <laughs> oh, myself right, so I'm like you know so I how do you choose friend, how do you choose books to read then like how so, do you get your book recommendations if you don't read I kind of like so I look them up and I like look at the reviews and I see like, you know, on okay, what so, like, so like on Audible or something like I have, I see like that it's like five stars okay. and I'm like, okay, so this is probably a pretty good book. And then I like look at bloggers and I just kind of like see like what everybody's like reading and stuff like that. And um, I, don't, I don't remember. I think it was one of my suggestions. Um, and it kept popping up and popping up and popping up and I'm like this is not a book I'm interested in I just kept swiping away and then like it kept popping up and I was like okay like I'm gonna read this book but I don't remember on the back but can we insert like a spoiler here of like, what of the book like, maybe like have like in the description like at this time spoiler yeah we could do that okay so spoiler starts now. now so in the book I'm going to get my puppy I'll be back so in the book, she actually, we find out that she is actually a lesbian and her parents are not having that at all. They are completely against it and she, they don't know that she is until they see her kissing her girlfriend and then everything just spirals out of control from there. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Like it just gets out of control and um, I think it's definitely a good read. It was probably one of my favorite summer reads. I think I've read it twice really because yeah and it's you know I'm good. never a go back I'm never a go back girl and but I read it because I was like I want to like pick up some of the things that I may have missed especially yeah. like clearly I am not Indian I am not Bengali so like I just wanted to pick up on those cultural things that were just like interesting to me and kind of like dive deeper into those to figure out like does this have a deeper meaning which a lot of it did so I'm glad I did it and I did not know that spoilery fact, but now it makes me even more curious. See, I'm weird. Spoilers actually make me want to read the book. Like, I'm that person that, like I said, she's been trying to get me to read this book literally for months. It's, yeah. This has to be like three months now you've been trying to convince me to read this book. And I even went as far as to download it off of Hoopla. And for those of you that are unaware, Hoopla is a great app that has lots of media in different formats. So they have audiobooks, ebooks, and even movies on there. And as long as your local library it allows Hoopla to use their catalog, so you have to go on there and you have to sign on with your library card and your library account and see if your oh, library cool. is on there. Mm -hmm. And then everything's free. How do I know about this information? I'm you sorry. literally sit next to me every day. <laughs> I'm sorry. And you withhold this I information. I thought you knew. I'm leaving. I thought I told you. Come back. <laughs> so, any who's. So I even downloaded it twice on Hoopla and started reading it and I don't know, for, for whatever reason, the fact that you told you you told me that it made you really sad and it was very emotional and stuff like that mm -hmm. made me not want But sometimes to I feel like you it. need those things. Like sometimes you just need like a really good like emotional like book that will make you like feel I like something to, or cry. I like to go into emotional books without knowing they're emotional. Can and I I'm like, already sucked in. I'm not gonna. I'm late. gonna whisper this spoiler to you. Don't. No. Because no, no. 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 I'm gonna whisper it. Bring your face. Why would you tell me that? Because now I know you're gonna go get it. Because you gotta figure out who. Dang. <laughs> <sighs> this video's over. Surprise. <laughs> I wish like I had confetti that could like rain down. Just pretend like confetti is all around us. I can't. 
poor Shirley is trying to like come in and out of this room. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. Your squeaky door is in my video. Uh, it's sorry. all good. <laughs> she can edit it's, it's fine. No, I can't. <laughs> okay. Yes, you can. And you will. I won't. Oh my god, hey Patty. I've, I'm, I'm into this new thing where I don't edit as much anymore. I think it's more oh authentic. Lord. It's more old school YouTube. Now I like Teddy it. wants me to hold him. Good luck with that. But um, yeah, like I was saying, spoilers make me want to read the book unlike other people who when they get spoiled then they don't want to. Oh, the baby. This big baby. Both of the babies. In case anybody didn't know, I'm literally Teddy's favorite person in the whole she world. Is. So that's why he's it's like almost acting insulting. like a baby. Little one. Okay, any who's any other books that you would really say have stood out to you? So I really liked Queenie. Did you read Queenie yet? I haven't. Okay. So I've read the first three pages. Hello, baby. You can't just say that and then just go off to like kissing the dog like it's fine. You know what it is? When books are it over starts off slow. When books are overhyped. It's hyped? You know it's I don't, so I don't hyped. read into the she hype. She doesn't. It's all I over like Bookstagram, hype. all over the place. It makes yeah. me not want to read it. It makes me want to wait until the hype has died down. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm very weird like that. Like if a book is everywhere, I'll get it for sure. But then I'll wait until the craziness has died down, the furor, the, all the stuff, and then I'll read it. Yeah. Have you read Children of Blood and Bone yet? No, because I'm seeing too much hype. <laughs> I'm like, same. you know, I don't like hype beasts. I don't like it. But Queenie was good uh, just because um, in the black community, of course, there is a stigma on mental health. Oof. And it's like, it just like the book talks about her mental health and she goes through like a lot of crazy things. She makes a lot of poor choices. Actually. Yes. A lot of bad yes. decisions. So remember me like coming in at work and be like, I'm tired of her. I'm oh yeah. So, so this girl queen. She was listening to the audiobook and she would come in legitimately talking in a British accent. I got for like hooked. an hour. And I'm like, I got so And she would be like, hooked. this bloody place. And I'm like, I'm tired of this bloody place. I'm going to go make myself a cup of tea. <laughs> and I'm like, that word. Turn off the audiobook, sis. It's like, I can't. I can't turn it off now. It's who I am. <laughs> I am a British woman. <laughs> I'm sorry for the people out there listening from the UK and all of London because I know I just disgraced your whole accent. <laughs> Please what? forgive me. Don't come after me. <laughs> What? I'm getting really mess. bad messages now. No. Please don't do that. But we do do that all the time. We just talk in our little yeah, British Yeah, we accents. talk in a lot of random accents, like, all the time. It's a great time. I think British is probably our top, our top favorite. Babe. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, she goes to therapy, she gets help, and everything is all good again, and it's a happy day. But it just, like, shows me that, like, it's okay to make bad decisions, and it's, it's okay inevitable. to go to therapy, and it's okay to make sure that you're okay. Yes. Whatever you have to do, like, by any means, make sure that you're okay. So, how would you rate those books? Queenie, the Michelle, Michelle Obama's still in your top? M Michelle Obama's number one. I'm holding Teddy so I can get arms like her. Facts. Like, yeah. He's Teddy, the chunkers. He's a little He's healthy. a good 20 pounds now. He's got to be better. So, this bigger. is what I'm looking forward to. Like, this is going to be yeah. really good cool Coco. I feel okay. like he's more than 20 pounds, but I might be... Might be crazy. I might just be weak. I think he. No, I think he's twenty. He, this feels he like twenty. So. Okay. Yeah. You know I have no upper body strength. I know. None. 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 It's so sad to go to the gym. It's. 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 It's a good time. It's a sad story. We okay, we're getting do, off topic. We should do a gym video. <laughs> no, we're not going to. Any other books? <laughs> um, I think those are my top books besides um, the um, God, what is that book that you turned me on to? Let Me Love You. Yeah, the Let Me Love You, the McLean family. The McLean novellas. brothers. Y'all get on it. I've recommended them on this channel. Alexandria House. Yes, she's doing. Right? House. Yes, I think it's House. It is House. She's doing a lot of great things out there. I was literally She also sad. listened to the audiobooks. Yes. I was really sad when it all ended, and uh, now I'm on to the Strickland Sisters. Yes. Which is also um, Alexandria really House. Really entertaining. I'm on book one with the first sister. Wait, am I on book one? No, no I'm on book finished. two. Yeah. Yeah, so. So um, good, you guys. So good. I've always recommend them, you guys know, mm -hmm. multiple times on this channel, so I turned her on to them, and she loved you know the McLean Brothers, and now she's on to the Strickland Sisters, and I think she has like a few other books. That have that are not like series. They're just like yeah, 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 yeah. They're I kind of so. like, but it's like weird because I necessarily I don't necessarily like those books as much, but they do tie into the story because she's created a whole world. Yeah. So if you guys like books that kind of 
do that. Like I described it kind of like The Simpsons, you know, like The Simpsons, yeah. like you see different characters and like it's a whole like universe that they've made. Like she's made her own universe yes. and it is really cool because you're like, oh, like he works for this job. I know who owns this place. Yeah. I wonder if this will tie in in the next book. And it's just really cool to see that. Alrighty. I honestly don't really have too much to else to ask you, except I heard this fact recently. I talked about it briefly on my channel where it stated that black women read more than anyone else. I and like that. I thought it was interesting because we're not accurately represented as being the ones that read the most, like mm -hmm. in the books that we read and the publishing industry. I mean, it's getting a lot better now, mm -hmm. but I also read this other, <laughs> this other fact that um, in 2018, more books were published about animals and animals being the main characters, obviously mostly in children's literature, yeah. than about people of color being the main characters. Yeah. That's sad. Yeah. That's really sad. Yeah. So I just thought it was interesting because I feel like there's this stigma on people of color reading, especially black women. Like mm -hmm. people feel like we don't read and mm -hmm. we're not vis seen, shown visibly as readers mm -hmm. and people who are interested in reading or any type of academic pursuit. I think it is getting a little bit better Yeah, because of social media and stats coming out like black women are the number one most educated group in America. We're the Hello. ones with the most degrees. We usually go to four-year institutions. Mm -hmm. So that's becoming more of a thing. Mm -hmm. But I just thought it was interesting that we read the most, but we're not represented like we do. So. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I like, oh, the Intercepted books. Ugh. I know you hate it. And honestly, like, the writing is not necessarily up to my standards because I feel like she's more so pandering but I don't know if I feel that way because I think like the book is always about like a biracial woman so I feel like she's trying too hard you know what I'm saying to have diversity to di have diversity and I'm like just just be who you are like you know I don't need you to to like make me like you like I'm gonna like you if you just be yourself but the books are really good I think they're cute but I just think I that there are a lot um, of less known authors, usually mostly self-published, that have done that same storyline way better. And I've read mm -hmm. that storyline before. You know, it's like the game. Remember the TV mm -hmm. show? It's like the game, but in a book, but like with worse writing. I don't like saying that about like. Well, you listen to the audiobook, so if you're saying the writing's bad, then the audio. Yeah, really like sad. that's what that's like the reason why I was just kind of like. Ugh, because I listen to the audiobooks and like I can hear like the dialogue and stuff like that and you know like I have an arts background too and so I'm like this is bad acting you know like, <laughs> bad this voice is bad, acting this is bad voice acting this is bad like writing like who wrote this script <laughs> well the art, author but still yeah bye Chobe so <laughs> Would you recommend the Intercepted books then? Um, if you are bored this summer no. and... No. Hold on. <laughs> like, if you're bored this summer and you just need a quick read, I feel like that would be like something. That's something I would read at the pool. Yeah. Like... It's like light, fluffy. Yeah, it's like fluff. It's fluff. It's fun. And that's about it. It's, yeah. It's fun. It's interesting. So... Let's go down the list. So first we have Michelle Obama. She's still number one. Mm -hmm. Then we have The Love and Lies of... Is that how you say it? Rakshana, yeah, Rakshana Ali. Life. Yeah, you guys get onto Hoopla if you're unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. Definitely has saved me a lot of money. Um, and then we have the McLean Brothers series mm -hmm. and the Strickland Sisters, all by Alexandria House. And mm -hmm. now we have the Intercepted series, which not a fan of. How would you rate them... <laughs> Oh, we are not going to include Michelle Obama because we already know you like that one the best. Okay, so if I had to exclude Michelle Obama, I would probably, I would put Rakshana first, still. Okay. Yeah, and then I would probably do the Strickland, not the Strickland sisters, the McCain family novella second. Okay. Um, Wait, the McLean Brothers series or the novella? The novella. That's like the same. It's like the same thing. Isn't the novella about the sister? No, the Strickland sisters is the sister. But the wait, is it? 
because the McLean brothers is like a four book series and then they had that one book in there about their sister I thought it was part of it but it was called 3.5 and I was yeah like, yeah so I was getting confused but so the McLean brothers series yeah I did not books. read the book about his sister though. it wasn't good it was not good yeah it was just like I DNF'd it halfway yeah through. didn't finish <sighs> but and then intercepted series no Queenie then Queenie. Yeah, and then the Intercepted series. I've heard that Queenie is basically like Bridget Jones's diary, but with the black, with the black female woman. protagonist. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what I've heard. That's what a lot of people have said. Yeah, that's I'll pick exactly it up at some is. point. Yeah. I thought you had the book. I do. And the audiobook. So what are you listening to now? <laughs> um, right now, I am listening to the Strickland sisters. Um, novels i'm on book two okay and i really i really like it so far uh, yeah okay. okay so far so good i think it's cute i think it's interesting like the romances and stuff are really cute but also they're like unbelievable but very I, unrealistic but isn't that what reading is yeah like you just get to go away to something that would never ever happen in real life <laughs> like I would never have it's, men. It's fantasy his, and wish fulfillment. Yes, like you would never meet a man who's like super rich and then as soon as he sees you, he's in love with you. But it's nice to think that, right? You're right, exactly. It's good to think that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I feel like I know some people that that has happened to. Like two people. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Don't and it's just kind of, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just kind of like, Actually, it, really it, isn't happens fair. To, it happened to one of my dance moms See? when she was just fresh out of college. It happens to people, but mm -hmm. it just doesn't happen that often. It doesn't happen it's, to it's us. It's rare. <laughs> it doesn't happen, happen to us. normal folks <laughs> out here. Exactly. Unless you're one of those people, then. Those special Congratulations people. to you. I know. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to end the video here. Anything you want to say? Any last thoughts? That sounds uh, so morbid. What? Any last thoughts? <laughs> what are you about to do? <laughs> Nothing. Just Cut the camera off. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's gonna happen to me after you cut the camera? <laughs> so, um, nothing really. I mean, Oshley said I could plug my Instagram in, so yes. here it is. It is Cassie, C A S S I E, a la mode, A L M O D E. Yeah, so definitely go follow her. She's I don't do anything. There's just pictures of my dog and like some of the interesting stuff I do in my life. Once in a while, she makes social commentary on there. Oh, yeah, those are pretty good. It's called The Afternoon Tea. They're yes. actually saved on my page, so you guys can go check them out. Um, it is not family friendly. I kind of have a mouth of a sailor, so. Be um, warned. Just be warned. I mean, it's not like terrible, but it's still bad. You know, like, yes. children do not go to my Instagram. I, will I don't think you. I have any children. Like that. <laughs> I blocked all me. children. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm like, fair. oh, across the board. You're 15. Blocked. blocked. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Gotta protect the babies. Yes. <laughs> so definitely go follow her on Instagram. We may or may not start a podcast soon. It's something that we've been debating for over a year now. I think we're fun. So if you guys think I we're fun, know if comment that's, below. That's actually going to happen. <laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to have her on here. I promised her that she could be on in one of my videos and talk about the books that she's read. I'm sure I'm you'll excited. see her again. But yes, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Oh, you're just going to leave the oh, frame? That's not how this works. I didn't know how that, how do we exit? Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm doing back and forth and the kind of the comical scenarios and for those that don't know friends to lovers romance is my absolutely 100 percent favorite trope in a romance period across the board that is just i love it so i highly recommend this one as well moving on number four the remains of the day by cash casual